Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory, O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that we who celebrate with awe the Paschal Feast may be found worthy to attain to everlasting joys. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judah, and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to what I say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders, and signs that God did through him among you, as you yourselves know. This man handed over to you according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord, the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand so that I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will live in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let your Holy One experience corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Fellow Israelites, I may say to you confidently of our ancestor David, that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Since he was a prophet, he knew that God had sworn with an oath to him that he would put one of his descendants on his throne. Foreseeing this, David spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah, saying, He was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh experience corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of, the, all, that all, of, and of that all of us are witnesses. Here ends the reading. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Behold, Jesus met Mary Magdalene and the other Mary and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests everything that had happened. After the priests had assembled with the elders, they devised a plan to give a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You must say his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. If this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. And so they took the money and did as they were directed. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Church gives us the opportunity to celebrate on the weekdays of Easter, Monday through Saturday. We have the blessing and the benefit of being able to hear the resurrection story, that Easter Sunday story, from a variety of different perspectives these six days of the week. We'll also hear some of the attestations of Peter on Pentecost Sunday, as we did. It's good that we are together. We have to be cautious also, as always, when we read the scriptures not to read into them an anti-Semitism that is, has been used and is um, certainly possible, looking at pinning the blame for Jesus' death on the Jewish people. That, of course, is not what um, the scriptures are about. Yes, it was the leaders and authorities who handed him over um, a subset, those who were threatened by Jesus and his ministry, not the Jewish people as a whole. So we remember that as we read these passages that may be problematic for us. Of course, our purpose is to proclaim the resurrection. That is why we are here. That is why we gather every time uh, we gather in Christ's name to proclaim his death and resurrection. Simon Peter on Pentecost Day, filled with the Holy Spirit, lays out a scriptural case, begins to do this for the people who are listening. And Jesus on that resurrection day tells Mary Magdalene and the others, the risen Christ says, go tell my brothers to find me in Galilee. That's the way the story goes on. The story continues. The good news of the resurrection continues for us. We, of course, are the same people who crucified Jesus as we are the ones who celebrate his resurrection. That great Holy Week and Good Friday hymn, Ah, Holy Jesus, says, I it was denied thee, I crucified thee. Our sinfulness, of course, brought this on. As Peter said, it was with God's foreknowledge, God's great plan, that all of this came into being. Of course, it was God's great plan for us to receive a Savior, God's own Son, who did suffer death on the cross and who did rise for us and for our salvation saying yes to life, no to death, yes to love, no to hate, yes to liberation, no to oppression. May we be a people who live in the light, the grace, the glory, the gift of the resurrection, knowing that through Christ he has wiped away our sins, he has liberated us, freed us from the pains of death. May we go forth confidently this Easter week proclaiming the resurrection, the grace and the gift of the God who loves us so much. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church and the world responding. Hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, who in thy holy word has taught us to make prayers and supplications, and to give thanks for all people, receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty beseeching thee to inspire continually the Universal Church and the vestry staff and people of this parish with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, especially Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Skip, our assisting bishop, me, your unworthy servant, and Joseph, our seminarian, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, especially to this congregation here present in person and online that with meek hearts and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. We beseech thee also so to rule the hearts of those who bear the authority of government in this and every land, especially Joseph, President of the United States, Gretchen, Governor of Michigan, and Sheldon, Mayor of Flint that they may be led to wise decisions and right actions for the welfare and peace of the world. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Open, O Lord, the eyes of all people to behold thy gracious hand in all thy works, that, rejoicing in thy full creation, 
they may honor thee with their substance and be faithful stewards of thy bounty. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and suffer all those who, in this transitory life, are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to grant us grace so to follow the good examples of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joseph the worker, her spouse, St. Paul the Apostle, and of all thy saints, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Grant these our prayers, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and with thy spirit. Good morning and welcome to St. Paul's. We are celebrating daily mass, mass in person and online, Monday through Saturday this week, this week of Easter. Um, if it is within your schedule and your travel distance, you are welcome to join us here without reservation. You don't need to call ahead. Uh, we will have plenty of space for you to come and to worship. Of course, uh, you can continue to worship online as well if that works for your schedule or your location. We'll use Eucharistic Prayer 2 today, which begins on page 340 in the Book of Common Prayer. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God. But chiefly are we bound to praise thee for the glorious resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the very Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us, and hath taken away the sin of the world, who by his death hath destroyed death, and by his rising to life again hath won for us everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory, Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, O Lord our God, for that thou didst create heaven and earth, and didst make us in thine own image, and of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him, and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. He made there a full and perfect sacrifice for the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. 
And when he had given thanks to thee, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we thy people do celebrate and make with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again with power and great glory. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and with thy word and Holy Spirit, to bless and sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may be unto us the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, whereby we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies. Grant, we beseech thee, that all who partake of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction. And also that we and all thy whole church may be made one body with him, that he may dwell in us, and we in him, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Jesus, we believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. We love you above all things, and we long for you in our souls. Since during this pandemic these at home cannot now receive you materially, please come spiritually into their hearts. As though you have already come, we embrace you and unite ourselves entirely to you. Never permit us to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank thee for that thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. And the blessing, love, and mercy of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.